I'm Brent Gardner, and this is the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, April 10th. Here with our first story is correspondent Krista Cup. Thanks, Brent. Last week, U.S. Senators Mike Crapo, Max Baucus, Bob Bennett, John Tester, and Blanche Lincoln introduced legislation, Senate Bill 816, to restore the Second Amendment rights of visitors in national parks and wildlife refuges. The current Department of the Interior regulations were amended by the Bush administration in 2008, allowing law-abiding citizens to defend themselves by carrying a concealed firearm in national parks and wildlife refuges. However, earlier this year, a federal district court in Washington, D.C. granted anti-gun plaintiffs a preliminary injunction against implementation of the new rule. The NRA has been working for the past several years in the regulatory, legal, and legislative arenas to achieve this policy change. This bill would provide uniformity across our nation's federal lands and put an end to the patchwork of regulations that governed different lands managed by different federal agencies. In the past, only Bureau of Land Management and Forest Service lands allowed carrying of firearms, while national parks and wildlife refuges did not. This move will restore the rights of law-abiding gun owners who wish to transport and carry firearms for lawful purposes on most federal lands and will make federal law consistent with state law in which these lands are located. Please be sure to contact your U.S. Senators and Representatives and ask them to co-sponsor and support Senate Bill 816 and its House Companion Bill 1684. You can call your U.S. Senators at 202 224 3121 and your U.S. Representative at 202-225-3121. And now, back to you, Brent. Thanks, Krista. As we continue to report, Congress has jumped into the topic of Mexican border violence with both feet, having held 10 different subcommittee and full committee hearings on the topic, with more coming. It has also become clear that anti-gun politicians and groups are intent on using this issue to advance new gun laws. In the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee on Drugs and Crime, Senator Dianne Feinstein renewed her attacks on gun owners' rights. During her remarks, she stated that there are over 2,000 guns smuggled into Mexico from the U.S. each day. But when she tried to elicit support for that number from a representative of BATFE, he responded that that number was actually much lower. Senator Feinstein was clearly unhappy that he would not endorse her anti-gun soundbite. Feinstein also repeated the erroneous claim that 90% of seized guns are from American sources. In fact, it is unknown where most of the arms possessed by the cartels originate. According to the BATFE, 90% of the firearms traced are from American sources. But BATFE only traces 25% of the guns seized by Mexican authorities. The remaining 75% of guns seized, along with all the firearms remaining in the hands of the cartels, are of unknown origin. The fact that only 25% of these guns seized are traced raises significant questions. Why has the Mexican government not requested traces on the remaining 75%? Could it be because those guns are far less likely to have originated in America? Could it be that Mexican authorities do not want it known where these guns came from? Could it be that it benefits the Mexican government to continue to blame U.S. gun laws to divert attention away from the rampant corruption of local governments and police forces? Or could it be all of the above? Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is also under the debate. Traveling to Mexico and taking the opportunity to blame American gun laws and calling for a renewal of the semi-automatic gun ban. In another development that will not please the gun ban crowd, the leader of the Border Patrol Union, T.J. Bonner, said he was underwhelmed by Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano's plans to secure the border and went on to debunk the idea that Mexican violence is caused by American guns. The U.S. has more weapons, but we do not have that kind of violence in our street, he said. American gun owners know that the real solution to the border violence is to actually secure the border. Shifting the focus to gun laws is nothing more than a calculated attack on our Second Amendment rights. For more information on these government hearings and current legislative alerts, please visit our website at www.nraila.org. <laughs>